so what's up guys in this video we will try to understand the basic difference between the two character sets that are commonly used in win32 programming and all other programming where the GUI is the main concern and uh, for that before we go into the discussion let's have a look at this message box a function or I was introducing the function to you I said it was message box not message box a then why I did write message box a instead of message box that's because the message box a is actually using the character set of ANSI now if you are programming in C or C++ in console you seldom write some things like this Now this char C is actually holding a ANSI character. This keyword char is used to define a ANSI character or the ASCII character. Now whenever you are going to define a Unicode character, then you cannot use this kind of notations. And uh, by the two kinds which I was talking to you about earlier are the ASCII characters and the unicode characters now generally the unicode characters are preferred more than ascii characters because the ascii characters are made of usually one byte that means it holds about eight bits of data and it can hold a limited set of characters but in case of unicode there are at least two bytes of data that means it can hold a lot a large number of character set in it so therefore in win32 the default mode is set to unicode now to define an ANSI character you use something like a char c equals to like this but to define a unicode character we use that means that the WHC equals to capital L and then the character or the character string this capital L ensures that whatever passed inside these quotations are actually unicode characters not ASCII characters and uh, throughout this tutorial we shall be using unicode characters rather than ASCII characters so whenever you are using a unicode character the default the the last letter will be W and that defines a unicode character as you can see there are underlines and if I have to remove this I have to turn these strings into unicode strings and it will work fine but the windows have a different approach to this windows actually uses this kind of functions more and as you can see uh, this is turned into a purple that means that this is not a function but a define so in most of the functions that window use they have two kinds of values one is a unicode value and one is a ANSI value so whenever I am using the message box the message box is defined something like this that means if unicode is defined or if unicode is being used then the message box will by default denote the message box w function or if ASCII characters are being used then the message box will by default define in the ASCII characters and use ASCII characters now to use a unicode string you can just define the unicode string something like this And this will do the job for you this is now a unicode string but windows or the winter 2 api has a better approach to this instead of using wrt you can use this keyword and it will defer it will refer to the same data type that is wrt the ANSI characters now the other thing the most exciting thing about it is that the windows actually de defines a function actually not a function but another defined method uh, that can convert a string into a unicode string and it looks something like this
so as you can see that this ascii string is now converted to a unicode string and we can easily pass the string here and run this program and as you can see it's printing out this is a unicode string now windows has uh, their approach to encapsulate data types in their kind of language or format as i saw you teacher there is also lpsd that defines a character string now before we jump into this we have to understand the handle now the handle is something that actually refers or points to the object we are using it you can think it as a pointer if you want to uh, and the handle to a window a window we whether it's a window or any control inside the window all the controls inside the window is also treated as a window in win32 so the handle to a window is written something like and this, this keyword defines a handle to window another thing the handle to the device context or the drawing area of the window we can all define it like and it will denote the device context handle and uh, the unsigned integers are defined as so whenever you see a uint you can be sure that it's a unsigned integer not a ufo stuff and uh, the same goes to because uh, both of these two data types are actually unsigned integers that are used to control the events and uh, the best part of this is you can have either the first 16 bits of this integer or the last 16 bits of this integer by using the high word and the low word keyword that we will be discussing in later but for now you must understand that there are a lot of data types that are redefined in windows and throughout this tutorial we will be using many of such kinds so for now we can assure you that the whole tutorial series will be using unicode character strings that means whenever you are defining a text you must use l in front of it or wrap it in the text function so that's it for today hit like if you like this video and comment if you have any problem to understand and uh, in the next tutorial video i am thinking of introducing you to how you can create a real window so hope you like this video that's it for today